Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Enemy Sifted Flour Production. Uh, we are Nyaga Mechanical Engineering. Leo tumetembelea one of our clients uh, who produces sifted flour in Aitwa Chema. Uh, we'll take you through the process of production from the beginning to the end. We'll show you how the processes go, uh, the machines that are involved, and these are machines that we fabricated. Welcome. This is the point where we collect the maize and you notice that this maize that is here, it has a lot of debris and also foreign materials. So the first process, we call it CCP1, uh, that is critical control point one, where we also have some magnets in this chamber. These magnets are used to remove any metal that may be uh, in this maze that we are about to process here. So after that, after that uh, is removed, after the magnets have removed these uh, uh, materials, the metal materials, now the first process now is initiated after the maze gets into this elevator and it's taken to the distoner. This is what we call the distoner. Uh, so the purpose of the distoner here is mainly to remove the uh, stone particles. We also have the any other debris that is maybe in that maze. <coughs> we have like the maze cobs, the, those small pieces of maze cobs. We also have the dust. The dust is collected through this chamber you can see here. This is what collects the dust and then it is taken to that other chamber. There is a chamber behind here. So that's the dust collection room. So uh, soon after we are done with the distoner, uh, the clean uh, grains of maize will now be will go through this outlet into another elevator. This is the second elevator, which now will take the maize to the next level, which is called conditioning. So after the process of cleaning, uh, we find that uh, these are uh, the maize particles. Before we process them into uh, now, before we dejump them, we need to dump, do dampening, and now these are process where we add water, and this process is done in this chamber right here this is where you add some moisture or some water and then you make sure uh, the correct uh, moisture content is maintained you have to use you need to use a moisture meter to make sure that the moisture content is maintained to the right level and then it proceeds to this hopper this is the hopper that now collect the maize which will be ready for now the next process which is the jam the jamming is done by the machine you can see right here. And before it's de jammed, we have the CCP2, or co uh, critical control part two, where any materials that are, any metal particles that may have remained from the CCP1 will be removed before it proceeds to the de -jammer. The purpose of the de mainly is to remove the maize jam. The maize jam is what makes the flour not to have a long shelf life. So, once it's put in the dijama, uh, what we collect from this point you see here is what we call the maize jam. And now the other crushed maize that has been dijammed proceeds to, uh, to exit. So uh, once the maize has been dijammed, it will exit through this point. At this point we have CCP3, that is control, uh, critical control part 3, where we remove any other uh, metals that may have remained or any other uh, metal particles uh, so at this point you make sure when you reach here anything that is proceeding from there is very clean and safe for consumption so with now the cleaning process and the jamming process done now you can proceed to the next level uh, we have the elevator 3 the purpose of the elevator 3 is now uh, to carry those particles of maize that have been crushed and dejammed to the next level, we call it the crusher. So on top there you can see the crusher. The purpose of the crusher is now to make sure that the granules are of the right size and the particles are able to be uh, of the right size so that we can proceed to the next level uh, where we now go to the roller mill. So after crushing is done, so we go to the next level and the next level is now the first roller mill over here. The raw mill is able to now produce the very fast, very fast, very uh, good flour or the sifted flour. We have three chambers in the raw mill. The raw mill will have the first chamber which removes Iyo Unga Sasa supermarket Unga Safi. And then to Takwana, the second chamber. The second chamber is uh, going to uh, get the bran. And also we have the other third chamber which now collects 
the remaining uh, or the maize that has been separated from the jam uh, somehow and now we'll take it to the return system. The return system right here is, you see that we have three rommies, Y system. So with the three rommies, you see the very first product that came here, Ikisha Toka, we'll find that there is that uh, product that will not be processed enough. It will still have the, uh, the brand. So when we come to the second chamber, uh, we have the exit right here, uh, which now goes into the elevator number four which now collects and takes to the second ramen over here when you look at this this is the second ramen it also has three chambers uh, where we get the very fine flour or the very uh, processed flour which is the sifted flour we have the second chamber now we'll take now to the third ramen and also we have the third which will have the bran so after that process we we'll go to the fifth elevator the fifth elevator now leads us to the ramen number three, which is now the final ramen. This is where we end the process. And you see, in this ramen, you have two chambers now only, not three chambers and the rest. And the two chambers is mainly because we have now the final product, the final brand, and the final product of flour that now we'll get. So uh, now, after the final process uh, from the final, uh, the last ramen, the ramen number three, uh, we have a screw down here. The purpose of this crew is mainly to mix the minerals that have been uh, put uh, by this. This is what we call the fortifier. This, uh, this is the fortifier or the dozer. Uh, the main purpose of the dozer or the fortifier is to add minerals to this flour that is being produced from ramil 1 to ramil 3. So as the process continues, this fortifier drops minerals on this uh, that screw. The screw you can see beneath here and as the process continues it continues mixing it has some blades inside it also has a screw and to mix uh, the minerals evenly with the uh, flour so that you can get the very fine product or the best product out of this and from that point uh, we don't have any other process left uh, we go to the last screw or screw number two finally after we have now the final process we go to the screw number one uh, the screw number one was mainly for fortification process and also mixing so that we can get an even uh, product. Eh? So uh, after that now we go to the final screw here, that's screw number two, uh, which now leads us to the packing unit. And now the process is done. The only thing remaining now is packing and getting the final product. So if you haven't noticed, our system is user friendly. It requires minimum uh, training for the operator and it comes with a, a control panel system which is here which you can use to operate all the machines that are in this system
So here with me is the end product uh, in Aitwa Unga Wachema, grade 1 sifted flour, produced uh, by NMA sifted milling plant. Uh, try it today, it's very delicious, uh, you like it.